All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. Just uh, polished off a sausage roll, so please excuse me. And I'm just about to put tea in because I'm fat and I eat before I start cooking. Um, but yeah, today we're going over to Asvex out of Liverpool. And this is a can of the Lava Lamp Encryption, which is a double IPA at 8% ABV. Uh, this was canned on the 3rd of January this year. I think I might have had this before. I don't think I've reviewed it. don't think I had it in can. I think I had it. Did I have it at Aspects? I recognise the name. Could be completely, completely off there, but hey-ho, it is what it is. So this is brewed with Citra, Mosaic and Galaxy. What a combination of hops that is. Asvex absolutely knocking it out of the park with all of their beer styles, to be fair. But I think a lot of people, um, like most breweries, will praise the IPA. But their Imperial Stout's been really good. I've had some interesting sour beers and they can brew down good lager as well. So it ticks all the boxes. So beer in a glass and you can smell it from here. So it's definitely not lost any of its potency and uh, the focus on the camera is going absolutely apeshit. But look at that beer. Is that better? It's beautiful, luminous. looks a little bit darker on camera, but yeah, that's just a solid block of orangey, grapefruit juicy goodness with just over two fingers worth of a nice foamy white head, looking fantastic in the teku, which by the way, has next to a really good teku, which I need to pick up. I need to change my glassware out a bit. So if anybody's looking to buy some branded glassware, then is it worth it? Anyway, on the nose, I'm not sure, I suppose I could put that stuff on Vinted because the, the beer merch that I've been selling on Vinted, is the only stuff that's actually selling. So maybe throw in some branded glassware. Anyway, this time next year, Rodney. On the nose, Oh man, that smells nice. I mean, it's two months old, but it's still packing such a punch in terms of aroma. And I think a lot of breweries are like that now with advances in canning and canning techniques and that sort of stuff and distribution and cold storage and all that sort of stuff. So I think you could have like a beer that's an IPA that's half a year old and you'd still, if it was a good beer fresh, it will still be a good beer. Um, but we don't tend to keep hold of IPAs for that long. But yeah, it's soft, it's sweet. Getting like every flavour of Starburst on the nose. A little bit of citrus there. Like lemon, grapefruit, blood orange pineapple chunks, a bit of melon as well. It smells absolutely fantastic. So without any further ado, let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. That's a big, bold beer. It really, really is. I mean, if some of the, the vibrancy and hot potency has dissipated, then I don't know what point I'm trying to make. It just tastes really fucking good. So end of review. So you can save watching eight minutes of me saying the same stuff that I'll say on the last IPA review and the next IPA review. Oh man, the nose on this is just remarkable. And the taste as well. There's a little bit more bitterness than you would expect. You don't really get any dankness or resiny, oniony, garlicky sort of aromas, but on the flavour, it really packs a punch. And even though it's got a nice level of sweetness, you can feel the ABV. 
which is really nice and refreshing because I'm so used to even like triple and quadruple New England IPAs tasting like fruit juice with no alcohol in, which is good because you can just plow through it. But this, it sort of makes you want to take your time a little bit more with it. But it's that mouthfeel. The aroma and mouthfeel on this, absolutely wonderful. Just the right level of sweetness. That dank bitter edge cuts through that nicely. An absolute fruit bowl of a beer. Give that a swirl, pour all of that in. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really is. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Pick this up from Windy Arbor, or the car. Adam corrected me in the uh, vlog that I did. Can't remember the name of the uh, the glass and bottle or something like that. I do apologise. And um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've conscientiously remembered uh, a specific Asvex beer, but my God, I need to drink Asvex on a much more regular basis. And it's easy for me to get to the tap room as well, which is lovely. And just across the road, you've got Carnival. And then a little bit of a walk, you've got Black Lodge. And then if you want some nice German-style food, you've got the Albert Schenker, which is great sausage pretzels and a good selection of beer. So, you know, that dock sort of side of Liverpool is just... A wonderful, wonderful beery experience. And I think there's like a really nice Italian across the road from um, Asvex as well. Had a beautiful pizza. Mm. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. So that was Lava Lamp Encryption. I would definitely, definitely drink that again. Beautiful, beautiful beer indeed. And if you see a can of it, pick it up because you really like it. Uh, you'll really like it, what a weird thing to say. But yeah, Asvex, knock it out of the park again. Links in the description as well as the place where I bought the beer from. <coughs> I shouted then I burped, apologies. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a nicer day today than it has been. And I think that complements the weather perfectly. So in terms of a, a beer weather pairing, uh, maybe you could do it a little bit more warmth, um, but hey ho, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of that. I'm going to put the pie in the oven. Uh, not a euphemism, um, although I wish it was. Three years. But uh, hey ho. Though hey ho's not linked to that. Anyway, that's we'll get into a mess and the feminists won't like any sort of comments that I make going forward. But it is what it is. I'm probably a little bit more feminist than I realised. I'm just not one of those tedious feminists where they can't have a, you know, they don't have any joy in their life because they're too busy being feminists. You know exactly the sort of feminists that I'm talking about. Like the ones who can't have fun and when they do, or if someone has fun that they don't like, they have to impeach. They're like Jehovah's Witnesses, aren't they, really? <laughs> That's probably not a good thing to say on a camera, but hey ho, it is what it is. At least I'm not in Wakefield. Was it Wakefield? And accidentally scuffed a Quran and then got death threats. Mm. Anyway, Nigel Farage, Daily Mail, GB News is leaving the building and um... <sighs> is there any wonder? that I've got a very small circle of friends. Thank you for watching. You all take care, stay safe. Religious freedom is something I uh, believe in and um, not all feminism is toxic. 
So thanks for watching. You'll take care, stay safe and uh, fuck the patriarchy. <laughs>